Welcome back, everybody. I am sure you've missed this game. It has been a hot minute, but welcome back to Pokemon Omega Ruby, guys. We are back into the game. Let's see what we've missed out on. The XX Day, or sorry, <clears throat> Unknown Time, the unknown date of the unknown month. Moss Deep Space Center, Celestial Observatory. Well, clearly something's going wrong. P Professor Cosmo, it it's a disaster! Oh, Professor Cosmo? The meteoroid's trajectory, it suddenly changed direction. Now it's on a collision course with our planet. Um, why did a meteor just change course? What? Recheck that data! Update the course calculations and confirm the new trajectory. Target locked on. Confirming the meteoroid's new expected trajectory now. According to the numbers, it should make impact somewhere southwest of Sutopolis on a small island off of Route 131. But changing trajectories mid-flight, it's almost like it's alive. But Professor, what should we do? What do we do? Calm yourself, man! Y y yes sir Hmm. So it's come to this. Looks like we won't be needing this. Hip. Who are you? You're someone completely new. Who are you? Ooh, that's so much better. Oh, I feel so free. The uniform got pretty stinky after a while, and all sweaty too. Oh, my adorable little Aster. Are you happy seeing me looking like myself again, hmm? <laughs> You're just too darn cute, like always. Oof. But there's not much time for left for us. It only gets... It's only a matter of weeks. No. Days. Things have gotten a bit tricky now since that kid managed to stop one of the super ancient Pokemon from being revived like it should have been. Not that it's really a big deal. I've already thought of a new plan. If I just took that a bit with the Sky Stone. One with that plenty of that built up. I swear I'll protect you. Aster. Pokemon Omega Ruby Delta episode. Also, sorry my reading is absolutely horrible today. But, we're back. Let's see. Ah, Saligra, Vacona, Cell, Raiju, Jet, and Astalos. Jet needs to evolve. I need to get him to a Salamence, like, ASAP. Oh my god, it's Dad! Dad, you're home! You love us! You're back! Don't leave us again! Why, if it isn't a tomb? It's been some time since I last saw you, but now look at you. Somehow stronger. That's the impression I get. Oh god, I butchered that so bad. But your old man hasn't given up. Oh, and before I forget, I was thinking of giving you these. Ooh, a pair of tickets. Okay. They're tickets to the Star Show that's being held at Moss Deep Space Center. I was really planning on going with your mom, but looks like I gotta rush back to the gym in Petalburg. No, Dad, come back! Please, we love you, Dad. We don't want you to leave, Dad. Don't don't abandon us again, Dad. Mom might try to hump a machomp again. I know, you know it's a pair of tickets. Why don't you invite that little cutie May from next door to come along? Now I better get heading back to the gym. Thanks for looking after the house while I'm away, dear. Of course, dear. You have a safe trip. Don't mind me while I get my Pokephiliac stuff going off. Oh my god, I'm terrible. Oh, that dad of yours, he comes and goes... He comes the first time in ages and all he talks about is Pokemon. No wonder I can only just ever have sex with him a champ. He, at least he has four arms that can actually choke me to death. And tomorrow, the long-awaited star show will finally begin. We've got all the latest news and updates. Like the fact that we just took a picture of a black hole. Oh, well, and just like that, look at this, a tomb. Right, at last, the Litten the Litlianoid meteor shower returns to illuminate Hoenn's sky. The star show will be held at Moss Deep Space Center will provide the best view of the shooting stars from the center's lofty viewing deck. 
We hope you all get a chance to join. Ooh, it sounds lovely. The Litlanoids, hmm? I remember going to see them with your dad 11 years ago when they passed by. You should march right over to that neighbor girl you're friends with and invite her. You can't let that pair of tickets from your dad go to waste, so take her along. I, I guess we're gonna go find the stalker. Let's go. Oh, well, hello. I see the strangers outside my house. All right, she got a bop. I like it. I like it. Huh? Whoa, are we in sync or what? You know, I was just thinking about you. Don't let me hear you. It's great meeting you. It's our first real meeting, right? Yeah, that's right. Of course it is. That's the name Zinnia. And you, well, I know all about you. You're a tomb, of course. You're the new Pokemon League champion. And you're one of those special few who got Mega Evolution to get even closer to their Pokemon now, aren't you? <laughs> okay, I know, I know. I'll leave it alone. Look, I'm stopping. This place sure is nice, isn't it? Little Root Town. Everyone hearing here is just so nice, too. Like that neighbor of yours. Oops, sorry. I didn't mean to go on like that. We should keep our first meeting short and sweet, don't you think? Until next time, bye bye Okay, weirdo. Bye. I really don't know who you are, Zinnia. Yoo-hoo, stalker girl! Ow! Mate, are you okay? What should I do? What should I do? Oh, Wibble. Wibble? It's no big deal, Mom. She just knocked me down a bit. Ow, it stings. Oh, a tomb. A tomb, you... You alright, huh? That's a relief. It all happened so fast, I couldn't do a thing, but... Some strange women came in my window upstairs. What? And she took my keystone from me? Oh, what the hell? I tried to fight her off with my team, but she was really strong. I didn't have a chance. I think her muttering under her brain as she left, though. Something like Petalberg's next. A tomb, be careful. Alright, I, I guess we're gonna go see Dad now. I'm coming for you, Dad. Using the Eon Flute, because I'm not gonna use Fly. I'm on the way, Dad. Whee! Nice landing. Not the superhero landing. That's the important thing. I did not mean to go in here, but you know what? That's okay. Okay, so he's fine. So where's this chick? Oh, you're looking for Wally. Tedious, bothersome child. You should just be quiet and give me the keystone. I'm telling you, I don't have it. I already know that you can use Mega Evolution. Oh, is this that one girl? Are you even listening? I've been telling you. Uh, a tomb. Hey, you. <laughs> Nice timing, maybe. I'll be taking yours first. Give me the keystone. Yeah, Courtney! I forgot about you, Courtney. You still only have a camera. Oh, Courtney, I'm so sorry for you. You're about to get the Molly a whopping. Alright. Mega Evolution into a Sky Uppercut. Let's go Mega Blaziken. Mega Mad Lister, the Sister Fister. Let's go. Oh. Oh, no, 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 Oh, come on! He lives. That's some bunk. Shadow Claw. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. No, not like this. Ooh, wake up. Wake up, Saligar. Please, wake up. I need you to. Shadow Claw. No! Oh, 
Oh, come on. Sleeper, how you gonna be sleeping on the job like this? How you gonna do that to me? Fine, let's go with Cell. Now, in the words of Cell from Dragon Ball Z, now you die. Just barely. Man. Huh. No, you're always meddling. If that's how it is at Meteor Falls, the leader's keystone. Strange woman is on the attack me, demanding I hand over my keystone. The truth is, I, c I couldn't give it to you even if I wanted to. My keystone is gone. I left it in the house when I went out and it just disappeared. What in the world is going on? If someone like that ever shows up again, I've got to protect my mom and dad. You be careful too, Atum. Alright, Wally. I thought you were useful, but you're not. Entry call. Okay. Hello? Hello? Is that you, Atum? Oh, Steven. It's me, Steven. How have you, have you been doing well? Huh. <laughs> I imagine you must be quite shocked. There's a communication mode that Devin is still currently developing. It comes installed in every Pokénap Plus. I thought you would own I thought I would use it only if I needed to contact you urgently. But it looks like that time has already come. I'm sorry to ask you this, but I need you to come to Devon Corporation in Brisboro. There's something I had to talk to you about in person. I'll be waiting for you there. Alright. Nope, not the bike. The flute. Let's flute boy on out of here. Alright, now we're heading to Rustboro City. Let's land. Alright. We're here. Alright. Steven! The two. I'm sorry for sudden you, summoning you so suddenly. It's well known enough that my intuition turns out to be right. But I've never imagined we'd be meeting again this soon. I'm sorry to say this, but it's not happy news that brings us together. Ugh. This isn't something we should discuss in public. Let's continue this inside. After you. Dad. But too, Miss here. Well, welcome, welcome. It's been quite a while, hasn't it? <laughs> I suppose I'm just getting old. Recently, I seem to forget the details as soon as I learned them. <laughs> Dad? <clears throat> oh, I know, I know what you want to say. My, what a hasty, impatient one you are. What, what are we to do with such an impatient one for our Pokemon League champion? Hmm? Oh, is that so? So you're the champion now, huh, Toon? Then I guess I'll never break that impatience of yours after all, Steven. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Dad! Ah, I know, I know. Can't you take a joke? Now then, Atu. I'm afraid that I'm planning to start on a rather long and quite heavy topic. Are you sure you're ready to take it all in? I, yeah, why not? And I suppose I should begin. Let me take us back 3,000 years to the day when this story began. There was a great war at that time, in a region far from here. Yes, uh, the Kalos region. That war finally brought to an end by a weapon created by one man. This one man, his name, I forgot his name. He was the king, though. And what energy source could power such a destructive weapon? Oh, do you know? You see, it ran on the life energy of Pokemon. The energy that could be gained by sacrificing so many Pokemon there are surely many people who would call it reprehensible. But my grandfather, the president of Devon before me, said this. Couldn't we use that energy to improve the lives of people in Pokemon? And so he developed our greatest creation here at the Devon Corporation. Infinite Energy. Thanks to Infinite Energy, 
Devon was able to become one of the top industries in Ohoan and developed into the giant you see today. You may be surprised to learn that Devon parts you once recovered were in fact part of a motor that would make it possible to power a submarine using infinite energy. It was not long before we began to expand our attempts for further human development. Next, we moved on to exploring space. The rockets launched from Moss Deep Space Center are using our infinite energy. These are the true results of our dreams, our passion, and our technology. But never did we imagine it could be the best hope for saving our world. My preamble has been quite long, but now we arrive at the real issue. The overwhelming catastrophe that approaches us. A huge asteroid, more than 6 meters in diameter, is currently on track with our planet. We've been working together with the Moss Deep Space Center, which was first to recognize this danger. We are devising countermeasures that would use our rockets, but in order to plan to succeed, we need a meteorite shard. So that's it. You want him to go and get that shard for you. Ha! That's my boy, alright. I knew once you'd understand, or you'd understand at once. It is hardly a piece of deduction worthy of praise. I want you to make your way towards Granite Cave near Duford. Our surveys, you should be able to find the kind of meteorite shards that we need there. And you, Steven, I want you, son, to head to the Space Center at once to start the preparations using that link cable that I gave to you. The link cable? So it has to be a warp system. Yes, I understand. But Granite Cave? Ah, I see. The floor where we first met. The floor with the ancient wall paintings. It is true that there are many shards of meteorites scattered about there. It looks as though it's decided then, Atum. I will head for the Space Center in Mosty. If I learn anything, I will contact you at once. Though it looks like it'll end up as another one-side message like the one I sent you, I'm afraid. Good luck. Steven, you be careful. Then, I will be counting on the two of you to take care of this job for me. If you forget what you need to do, just come talk to me again. Assuming I remember as well. <laughs> well, we're going straight there, because that is a bit of a pickle. Whee! I did not mean to do that, but I did it anyway. Let's go. Alright, let's head out over to... Granite Cave over in... Uh, Dufry. This way. Here we are. Oh, since I'm, you know, doing post-game content now, here's what I'm gonna talk about real quick before I head into this cave. Um, I will be doing, like, catching all the legendaries and such, but that stuff happens on specific days, so I'm not gonna be doing it today. I'll do it right after I finish, you know, the Delta episode, but I'll be doing a recording for one, basically, for each day of the week. So, Mondays, I'll have, you know, caught all the legendaries that I can on a Monday and then on a Tuesday and I'll keep doing that until I end up with like a 30 minute recording total so like I'll be snipping stuff together and it'll be on different days but you know I'll catch all the legendaries and then I'll put that up as an episode and I'll keep doing that until I catch them all yes that I know the joke yada 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 but I'll catch all the legendaries that I can anyway and then as I continue you know playing through I'll catch the rest of them and maybe I'll make a run at the Battle Frontier, which I think you only unlock after you beat this. Oh, well, hello. You're here. Are you still stealing more Mega Stones? Because I'm not letting you take mine. Hmm. Well, seems like it's true. It's really just like the wall painting there. This one shows Primal Evolution, while that one shows Mega Evolution. I guess that proves it once and for all. Our great ancestors once lived here too. The ancestors who passed down through me the knowledge of how to protect the world. How to avert the threat that will appear from space as long was foretold. From a higher place even than the heavens. What is it, Aster? Oh? You and your banging theme song, let's go. 
We do seem to meet an awful lot, at tomb. Are you also interested in this old painting? Or were you here for the other? For one of the meteorite shards that will serve as a source of power for the legendary Pokemon that lives in the heavens above. Either way, you know I adore you. That's it. I can't help it. I have to battle you. I'll play nice, though, and ask first. You're ready to battle me, right? Hopefully I... I don't know if that healed. Let's just run with it. You... Give me a good taste of everything you and your Pokemon have to offer. Alright, let's go. Whoa, she has a Mega Stone? Why do you stand like that? That is weird. Whoa. Oh, it did not heal. Okay, that's bad. You have a Tyrantrum. That's not even from this region. Magical Leaf. Tyrantrum's a... A fossil Pokemon. Ooh. Ooh, that's gonna hurt. Okay. I think you're a rock... You're not a rock dragon, are you? I don't remember off the top of my head. Oh, yes you are! Huh. Okay. I'll take it. That works. Magical leaf. But yeah. That's... I love the T-Rex fossils in this game. Rampardos, Tyrantrum. They are amazing. Ooh, an Altaria. Or Altaria, I should say. Raining Kiss. Moonblast. Uh huh. Well, Vakona, continue being useful. Draining Kiss. Alright. Come on. Heal me up, baby. Let's go. Thanks, Sailor Moon. Ow. Oh, that's why that felt weaker. All right, and I am fully healed. We're almost. Ooh, a Salamence. Well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, boys. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Let's go. Oh, oh. That's not good. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll let that one slide. Give me my health, bad boy. Let's, let, let me turn that down a bit. I peaked a little bit there. Draining kiss. Oh, no, 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 no. Yes. Give it back. All right. I might be able to survive one more. Tough call. I think I did my math. Wrong. I think I die here. Oh, 7 HP. Oh. Okay, I definitely die on this one. So... Astalos, let's go. Nice try with that crunch, boy. But it ain't gonna be that easy. Put him up with a rock slide. Bada bop boom pow. All right, nice. Astros is low on level 42. Kona's now level 49. Okay. Hypnosis. No, gracias. Yes, that's it. That was just what I was looking for. All right, I got some bank. Thank you. Nice, real nice, Atum. Oh, I felt, I really felt that one. Full points to you. That settles it. You get this meteorite chart as a reward. I was gonna take it anyway, but okay. That glittery meteorite you have there. Hmm, it's sure giving off some vibes. I'd keep a tight hold on it if I were you, along with the shard I just gave you. Hey, the actions that you're taking now, are they based on ideals that you cling to? Or are they based on actual truths? 
And if they are, how much of the truth do you think you know? <laughs> yes, ma'am, moving out. You're such a spoiled girl, you are, Aster. So what shall our next stop be, hmm, sweetie? Where do you think you're going? Alright. A tomb. Were you able to find the meteor shard that we need? If you were able to secure it, could you hurry back to us at this Moss Deep Space Center? I'm afraid we don't have much time left. I'll be waiting for you. Oh, God. Oh, oh, okay. We gotta bounce. It's time to go. Go, 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 I do not have time for this. I've got a world to save, not a Makahita to fight. Like, why, why are you even stepping up, buddy? There we go. We're free. Alright, time to take the flute. Oh, bam! I'm coming for you, Steven. because I don't want to get bamboozled. Thank you. Thank you for healing up the squad. Alright, Moss Deep Space Center. This way, right? Yeah. Alright, Mission Control, where are you? Be a tomb. Okay, so this person. Mr. Steven Stone told me he was expecting you. This way, please. <laughs> Professor Cosmo, if I may interrupt you. Hey, it's Cosmo! Ah, a tomb, thank you for coming. And you brought me the meteorite shard with you as well. Well done. I was rather surprised that you knew that you knew the professor. You really do seem to make connections everywhere you go. Now then, Professor. Could I ask you to explain once more about the current plan? Indeed, please come this way. I imagine you've heard some of the situation from President Stone already. Our current plan involves using the infinite energy within our rocket, combined with the life energy of humans found in the Keystones. We will start off an artificial by artificially re replicating that massive energy that is triggered at the time of Mega Evolution. We will fire the energy produced from our, from our rocket into space. And create a warp hole. By creating a warp hole in the path of the incoming meteorite, we hope we'll be able to transport it somewhere far away from here. As a matter of fact, this technology already exists and has been incorporated in some of our commonly used devices. I think you know what I mean. Those panels that you spin on, that you spin about on, and then you come out warped to another spot. I imagine you stepped on a few. An audacious plan and using technology as you would. May I ask exactly where this meteorite will be warped to? Well, we're not entirely sure, but we do have an advice that links warp holes. We've named it the Link Cable. That's just a reference to the old way of trading Pokemon. But there's no need to worry. Based on our theory, we can at least guarantee that we'll be sending it away from our planet. However, we realize we'll be needing more energy than originally anticipated to control the Link Cable properly. I'm sorry to ask you this, but we need one more meteorite shard. Who just walked in? Hey, wait a minute. Nice. So this is the heart of the famous space center that everyone talks about. Pretty impressive, huh, Aster? Meh, meh, meh. Why did I try that? Excuse me, young lady. You can't just let yourself in here. Oh? Where's the harm in it? Oh, don't be such a stick in the mud. Right? Uh... Who are you? You're no sightseer. Oh me, we do seem to keep running into one another. You must be a busy boy, Atum. 
Who, who are you? What are you doing here? Me? I'm Zinnia. Just your regular old tourist, nothing more. Dreaming of a nice little trip into space. <laughs> oh, I see. So this is what has come of human technology and of the hope and blood and sweat and tears and... Well, the list gets kind of long and boring, but it contains everything, huh? I know all about it. About what kind of energy you're using to fuel this rocket thing. The abominable technology humanity first thought of 3,000 years ago. So you're once again using the claim that this is the best hope for humanity. Or the best for the whole darn world. I'd snap of your fingers to repeat the sins of the past. Worst, if what I overheard is true, this time you're about to commit an error even more abominable than before. Tell me, would you rather sit here wringing our hands waiting for that meteorite to strike us? <laughs> What's up with that? You're a pretty simple guy for the Pokemon League champion. Then I guess I'll hang on my hopes on what our current champion has to say. So, how about it, Atum? What do you think? Do you have some better idea? Uh, you bet I do. Ooh, really? Well, that's promising. You have to tell me to so set these guys straight. Look, I'm not here to criticize what you guys... The way you guys are looking at this. But I want to be sure that you've thought this through well and good. You know, there are necessary sacrifices, and there are unnecessary sacrifices. What a disappointment. This is the best you could come up with all your knowledge and technology? Instead of trying to make something out of nothing, you'd rather repeat the mistakes of the past straight up? No, you're gonna make add on a new mistake on top of that. That really takes the cake. You guys need some imagination. Oops. I thought you were in the middle of a conversation or something, right? Sorry about that. I guess we'll just let ourselves out then. Come on, Aster. Keep in mind, I was bluffing. I have no clue what to do right about now. Who was that woman? And the way she spoke to us, it's almost as if she came here for some kind of confirmation. And yet, I feel as though I should know her from somewhere. Ah, Professor, forgive me. I believe you were telling us something before that woman interrupted us. Uh, yes. You see, in order to complete the warp hole, we need another meteorite, an extremely pure one. Shall we head to Granite Cave once more? No, that kind of meteorite we only need can get found from Meteor Falls. I am so bad at reading. Meteor Falls? I see. Perhaps we'll learn something there. I will head to Meteor Falls at once. I have a meteorite chart on me. I feel we might discover even more than a meteorite chart there. Alright, guys. It's been fun, but I'm gonna leave the episode off here. We got quite a bit accomplished in the Delta episode already. So, I'm gonna leave it here. We'll save the world in the next episode, guys. I hope you all have a great day. If you liked today's episode, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, leave it a thumbs down. Either way, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. What are we gonna do with this meteorite that's about to hit the world? I, hopefully, I put the calculations in for how much damage that's probably gonna cause. I probably did. But it's a real big deal. But either way, guys, I hope to see you all here next time on Let's Play Pokemon Omega Ruby Delta Episode. Have a great day, everyone.